It's Constitution Day. It's a wonderful day of the year. So today is Constitution Day. In case you didn't know, uh, that's when we remember that the formal signing of the uh, Constitution, the United States Constitution, occurred. So it's a glorious, glorious day. Uh, and as I was thinking about it, I try to mark kind of important uh, American days throughout the year when I can. And as I was thinking about this year and, and this Constitution Day in the context of our current culture, I think there are kind of three general camps you could be in regarding the Constitution. Uh, the first is, of course, the progressive liberal camp, which is ignore it and do what you want because might makes right. Uh, the other camp is kind of the, the conservative camp of like, oh, that we still regard the Constitution. Oh, that we have forsaken it and that we have, st what we have strayed from it and, and that's led us to all our woes. Uh, and then the third camp is pff, the Constitution. Like, what good has it done us anyway? And it's kind of this cynical, derisive um, way to look at it. Like, it's just a piece of paper. It didn't do anything. And uh, I think those are kind of the general three camps people can kind of fall in these days in, in our current era about the Constitution itself. So what I'd like to do uh, this Constitution Day is encourage you to go read it if you haven't. Um, and encourage you to remember that the Constitution, the United States Constitution, as far as I know, is the only founding government document in human history that established government with the purpose of protecting individual liberty. That's it. There is no other government in human history that was founded to protect human liberty and founded in such a form that it was to restrict itself. That is really what the Constitution is about. The Constitution is a restrictive document on the powers of government. It, it, it enumerates where government can go and no further. Can government go? Now, of course, today we have ignored the Constitution and, and we, government has trounced right over it and has gone into areas that it is not legally allowed to go. That is absolutely a problem. That is absolutely reality. And in that sense, I understand the people who want to be dismissive and derisive about the Constitution in the sense that, oh, it wasn't, it couldn't do anything. And I would charge, they're just laying the blame in the wrong place. Uh, the blame, of course, is people. I agree that it's, it's a piece of paper, that the Constitution is a document. It is a glorious document. It is a well-written document. But any document anywhere is only as good as people are willing to adhere to it. That's, that's just reality. So I, I don't think that laws being written on paper have some kind of special magical power. Uh, I, I do believe, though, that you need to start somewhere and starting with ideas that are founded on individual liberty. Again, like nothing else in human history ever is an amazing, amazing achievement. So for that reason alone, I would encourage you to give it, take 15, 20 minutes and read through it and remember that there were once men who stood in the gap and said, we will found this nation on liberty and we will not allow tyranny in our land. Do brave deeds and endure.